When uh, when we experienced the persecution first in Denmark, uh, it, it came as a surprise that something could happen in that level, and it came very very fast. Um, then I remember when I was sitting in the airport in the Netherlands and was flying to America. It, it came very strong to me that persecution is also coming to America. And it had been a message I've been sharing the last years. I've been in America, like wake up, <laughs> persecution are coming to America. And I, I feel really strong now that God has not only given me a message, but somehow he's helping me to become the message to help to prepare the church together with a lot of other amazing people out there who are waking up because there's many people who are awake right now and there's many people who are preaching the same message I'm preaching and I'm thankful for it and 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 we just need each other and we need to stand up and and it's happening and it's happening now and I think the biggest thing is that it, it will come as a surprise for most people because we are not aware of it. We accept it in other countries, but not in our own. <laughs> not where we are, or not now, or not me. We still think it's only for the few extremes. It's only for, for those few people out there, and, and somehow we think we are, we are safe as long as we don't do what, what they are doing. And no, you're not safe. Not if you really follow Christ. And God showed me in there that right now, yes, is only the few, but very soon it will be the many, but it will end up as the Bible had promised and be everyone who confess Jesus as Lord. And we really need to wake up there and we should not close our eyes and shut our ears up and hope that it just go away and it disappear because it's not going to go away. It's, it's not going to disappear. But we should learn, learn how to deal with it. And, and, and I can say very short, when, when I came to prison the first month, I was depressed. I was not, I was not doing good. It was, it was very, very hard and I, I was just not prepared for it. But then God really started to deal with me and there was things I needed to learn and it really changed it a lot and I became strong. And I actually want to say I'm, I'm somehow thankful I did not come out just after a month because then I would come out and put fear in every one of you out there who was watching me and say, be, fr be afraid, stop doing what you're doing, be afraid because this is terrible. But instead I can come out and say, it is coming. It's not going to go away. We cannot just close our eyes and shut off our ears and think it will just disappear. It's here and it's here to come and it's going to get worse. But I have good news. God is faithful and Jesus is with us. And we can learn that suffering and persecution is not our enemy. It's actually God's way of dealing with us and making us strong.